Hello everybody, this is Ali Reza. Welcome to another tutorial of my YouTube channel, Kian.Smart Home. In another tutorial, which its link is in description, you learn how to install ESP Home on ESP devices, as this firmware is the perfect solution for your ESP8266 or ESP32 boards, and connect the board to your Wi-Fi network. In this tutorial, we'll go through how to use ESP devices running ESP Home with Home Assistant. Let's start. As a reminder, in this video, ESP device is flashed with ESP Home. To start, ESP Home add-on must be installed on Home Assistant. To do so, in Home Assistant's sidebar, select Supervisor Panel, then click on Add-on Store tab, find ESP Home add-on, open it by selecting it, then here you should see install button click on it to install this add-on on your home assistant I have already installed the add-on installing the add-on may take some minutes after installation is completed click on start wait a few seconds then select open web UI this add-on allows you to manage and program your ESP8266 and ESP32 based microcontrollers directly through Home Assistant with no programming experience. All you need to do is write YAML configuration files, the rest which is over the air updates and compiling is all handled by ESP Home. I click on Open Web UI. If you see 500 to bad gateway error it's currently starting and you can refresh the page after a couple of seconds this page will step you through creating your first configuration to continue i connect my esp8266 board to my home assistant operating system which is raspberry pi using usb cable After connecting my board to, let's say, Home Assistant, I select Add Node or Plus to create configuration. I set a name for my node. I am going to create a node. I call it Node MCU. Only use lowercase letters, numbers, or dash. Enter your Wi-Fi information so your device can connect to your wireless network. Then I click on Next. In this page, select the device type that this configuration will be installed on. I click on Pick a specific board. Then from the drop-down list, I select Node MCU. This is my board. I click Next. Configuration created. I created a node by clicking on edit node mcu.yam file, which is created by creating the node, is opened. You can edit the file here. After saving it, you can install this file on your board by clicking on install. This is the first time and we have to install or let's say set up our board. I click on install, select plug into the computer running ESP Home dashboard. If you remember earlier, I connected my board to computer running ESP Home dashboard, which mine is Raspberry Pi. I select it. ESP Home add-on recognizes the port. I click on it, installing starts. Wait till installation and configuration is completed. This may take up to a few minutes.
file successfully uploaded into the board installation is finished I click on close if you had paid attention before installing the node was offline after installation is completed the node is online this was getting started with ESP home and home assistant at this stage now we have a device configured with the basic firmware flashed this means we can flash directly from the home assistant server using the OTA method over the air method from now on we can benefit from ESP home add-on in home assistant to create devices in ESP boards and monitor or control them in home assistant without programming experience in later videos I'll show you how to do that thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any question do not hesitate to leave comments don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already I will see you in the next video